hello friends um, let's see this problem based on number system uh, what is the remainder when 1 plus 10 square plus 10 is to 4 plus 10 is to 6 plus 10 is to 8 up to 10 is to 100 is divided by 99 now um, see so this is 1 plus 100 plus I can say 100 square plus 100 cube till 100 raised to 50 right now there are uh, this is 100 raised to 0 100 raised to 1 so from this to this 50 terms and plus this one so in all there are 51 terms right now this is 1 plus this can be written as 99 minus 1 uh, plus 1 sorry plus 99 plus 1 whole square and this is 91 99 plus 1 raised to 50 right to save time you don't have to write this step this step should be there in your mind okay so when you divide the individual terms by 99 you will be getting the remainder 1 in each case 1 1 1 up to here right so from this point to this point uh, 150 times and this one so in all 51 times you will be getting 1 so the remainder will be uh, 51 okay so when this expression is divided by 99 the remainder is 51 I hope that's clear now let's see this problem 3 by 4 plus 5 by 36 plus 7 by 144 till infinity the sequence is going on seems to be difficult but let's try so here you can observe uh, one thing see in these sort of problems always there is a clue in the denominator right so this is 4 basically 4 can be written as 1 into 4 and difference of 1 and 4 is 3 right 1 into 4 similarly this is 4 into 9 and difference of 4 and 9 is 5 similarly here it is 9 into 16 and difference between these two is 7 right and the series is going on so what you can do is you can uh, write the series like this 3 upon 1 into 4 5 upon 4 into 9 7 upon 9 into 16 and so on now the alternate way of writing this is 1 minus 1 by 4 right 3 by 4 can be written as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 similarly 4 by 9 can be written as 1 by 4 by 1 by 9 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9 similarly plus 1 by 9 minus 1 by 16 and so on and gradually the denominator will be so small right all terms will be cancelled and at the end you'll be getting a very very small denominator denominator that uh, this entire expression uh, and that there is one in the numerator one i'm sorry denominator will be very big not small very big so this entire quantity will be as good as zero it it will tend to zero okay it will be tending towards zero because one divided by a very huge number because before that all the terms will be cancelled so this will be as good as zero right it is tending towards zero it's not zero just be clear with uh, with this so we will be left with one only okay so that's pretty simple problem as I already told you whenever you see this sort of sequence infinite sequence or maybe sometimes n, n terms or 10 terms or 20 terms there is always a clue in the denominator okay uh, suppose we define digital digit sum of a natural number as the sum of its digit till a single digit number is obtained uh, the font is not that clear but I am narrating it for you uh, for example digit sum of 5555 five, five, five is equal to sum of all the digits that is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 that's 20 and 2 plus 0 finally it is 2 so basically we can define it is to be digital root so what is the sum of the digit sums of all three digit natural numbers so basically what we have to do uh, three digit natural numbers how many three digit natural numbers are there from 100 to 999 these are 900 three digit num uh, numbers I hope you know this if you don't know just make three lines three blanks for first now place there are nine choices because we cannot have zero so from one to nine nine choices or the second place we have ten choices because now we can have zero and the third place ten choices so nine into ten into ten in all nine hundred three digit numbers are there right now what is a digital sum of the number 
so precisely uh, it has already been explained over here suppose I have number 101 so the digital sum will be 2 102 the digital sum will be 3 and so on right but we have to find the sum of digital sum okay the sum of all the digital sums now here one interesting fact I would like to share with you see when you have to find out the digital sum what you have to see uh, you whatever remainder you are getting when uh, the given number is divided by 9 that will be the digital sum right suppose you have to find out the digital sum of maybe um, 6 3 and 4 right so 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 4 13 13 when divided by 9 the remainder is 4 and digital sum of this will also be 4 so you can exclude 9 and the remaining digit is 4 okay so that is nothing but the digital sum of the three digits okay so the same funda will be using to solve this problem so what we can do is we can make 100 sets I am not going to write the 100 sets over here just giving you an idea so uh, we can write 100 sets like how uh, how see 100 I am sorry uh, from 100 to 109 uh, not 109 108 because 108 the digital sum will be 9 right so we can start from 100 so 100 plus 101 till 109 uh, sorry 8 so it's 1 plus 2 till uh, 9 okay so from 100 to 108 we are getting a 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 9 similarly from 109 uh, the next number will be over here 117 right so further we'll be getting 1 plus 2 till 9 okay so next will be 118 till the last number will be multiple of 9 we just have to see over here that's 126 so further you'll be getting 1 plus 2 till 9 6 7 8 uh, 6 7 8 and 1 9 right so this way you will be getting 100 sets because we are taking 10 numbers in uh, I'm sorry nine numbers in one set in all we have 900 numbers we'll be getting 100 sets so 100 sets and each set has 1 plus 2 till 9 right so 100 into uh, some of this will be uh, first nine natural numbers will be 9 into 10 by 2 so that's um, 4500 okay so digital sum of all three net uh, digit natural numbers will be nothing but sum of digital sums not digital sum sum of digital sums right we are taking digital sums over here I hope uh, you are aware of it it's 1 it's 2 and it's going up to 9 right so the answer will be 4500 I hope you are clear with this now let's see this question based on theory of equations what is the value of the coefficient of x raised to 10 in the continued product x plus 1 2x plus 1 and it is going up to 1024x plus 1 so precisely we have 11 terms over here that means this is an 11th degree equation now how to find that um, see we can see it's 2 raised to 0 over here that's 2 raised to 1 and this is 2 raised to 10 so from 0 to 10 there are 11 terms so 11 times x is there that means um, that this is 11th degree equation now according to theory of equation which I have already explained in my basic sessions uh, if it is an 11th degree equation coefficient of x raised to 10 will be nothing but sum of the roots in negative right sum of the roots in negative that will be coefficient of x uh, x raised to 10 I mean now uh, first of all how to go about it is you just take 2 and 2 square 2 cube this as common right so 2 into 2 square I start with 2 raised to 0 so 2 into 2 square into 2 cube till 2 raised to 10 then we are left with x plus 1 x plus 1 by 2 x plus 1 by 4 up to uh, x plus 1 upon 2 raised to 10 okay so this is 2 raised to 1 to 10 okay 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to th 2 plus 2 raised to 3 up to 10 so sum of 
1 to 10 will be 10 into 11 by 2 so that is uh, 110 by 2 that means 55 so this is 55 right now we have to find out the coefficient of x raised to 10 from here now what as I told you some of the roots in negative that will be coefficient of x raised to 10 okay so some of the roots uh, here the roots are minus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 up to minus 1 by uh, 1 upon 2 raised to 10 okay so roots are already negative and I want a negative term uh, that is some of the roots in negative so two negatives will be cancelled so what we have to do 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 till 1 upon 2 raised to 10 right so this is nothing but a geometric progression with common ratio half okay so we can find out the sum of this uh, geometric uh, progression it's 2 raised to 55 over here uh, what is the sum that is a 1 minus r raised to n upon 1 minus r where r is the common ratio and n is the um, number of terms and a is the first term so first term over here is 1 so I am left with 1 minus r r is 1 by 2 so 1 upon 2 raised to a uh, number of terms are 10 uh, sorry 11 because we are starting from 2 raised to 0 upon 1 minus 1 upon 2 okay now we just have to simplify this to get the final answer 2 raised to 11 minus 1 upon uh, 2 minus 1 Oh, yes we can do this into 2 by 2 raised to 11 so precisely it is 2 raised to 10 so 2 raised to 45 divided by 2 raised to 10 so we are left with 2 raised to 45 2 raised to 11 minus 1 so just multiply this so it will be 2 raised to 56 minus 2 raised to 45 okay I hope that's clear so that's an important aspect over here what is sum of coefficient uh, what is the coefficient of x raised to 10 if it is an 11th degree equation that will be sum of the roots in negative so that I have calculated over here right but before that just make the coefficient of x as 1 taking the coefficient existing coefficient as common okay so I hope this uh, thing is clear to you